We are currently in Vivo um, in the Limpopo province. We have just stopped at the Vivo Place Mark because they have legendary deep boned chicken flatties and very nice meat. And we need something really nice to buy because we are heading to Bloberg Nature Reserve. It's uh, one of our favorite camps and favorite places. And we got some lacquer firewood. And I'm just quickly gonna run into the shop for Blitz and then we're on our way. Just go. What's this when it My goodness! Excited for Blowback. I am very excited for Blowback. I am excited for the little fig forest. That's the, yes. The fig forest. I'm excited to see the big baobab. And I'm excited for the hide there. It's an amazing hide. And I'm excited for the campsite, which is your favorite, of course. Out of all campsites in the universe. In the universe, <laughs> it's your favorite. Then we go. And the vultures. Good dankie. Yeah, nee, wordt wat lauw genoeg. We gaan weer. Good dankie. Mooi. What's our first stop? Our first stop is the fig forest. I think it's my favorite part of Blowback. It's a very magical place that. I think it's my favorite spot. It's very special. So I would just like to introduce you to Johan van Weyck. <laughs> he is the reserve manager at Bloberg and one of the friendliest people ever. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> okay, thank you.
if you do come to Blauberg, please come visit this fig forest and then bring a book and come sit here for a while because the calmness of this place is just amazing. Once you get here, you just feel peaceful. It's really quite something. It's even more beautiful than I remember and I think this late afternoon light has something to do with it. Are we going to go find that baobab? The big one. The big one. Let's do it. I say let's go find it like we don't have our own personal tour guide. <laughs> we got something magical Pretending that nobody knows Trying to hide but it shows Lost my sense of logical Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones not the brave kind, never dare to take the leap when the chance is gone. This is probably one of my favorite trees in Africa. Adansunia digitata is its uh, pretty name. Uh, digitata means the shape of your hand because that's how the leaves look when they are on. Um, this one has already dropped its leaves. Um, they reckon this one is about two to three thousand years old. Just imagine the stuff this tree has seen. And there are a few in the Limpopo province that are massive. It's just an institution. It's such a beautiful tree. This tree is so massive, I want to just walk around it and show you how long it actually takes. You are special, ordinary, can get you out of my mind. I'm gonna do it up for you, fall in so quick to the fire. So it's been a long time since there were elephants in this area. There aren't any elephants at Blobach now. But they did leave a mark a long time ago. If you look at the baobab, you can actually see where the elephants used to scrape the bark off the tree. Check this little guy, it's a beetle. We call it a tuktuki. I'm sure it's a tuktuki in English as well. And the only interesting thing I know about them, well, the most interesting thing I know about them, is that the males have this velvet patch on their tummies so that when they mate with the females, they don't slide off. And I've seen a lot of females lately, but it's been a while since I saw males, so that's quite cool. And they're called a tuk-tuki because they use their hind bodies to tap, tap, tap on the ground, and that's how they communicate and find a friend. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, Tuk Tuki. Welcome to Modomele Wilderness Camp. This is my favorite campsite in the world. And mostly it's because of this beautiful white syringa. It is really beautiful. And every single time I've stayed here, I've had an amazing time. I came here for the first time just over 10 years ago um, to celebrate Vulture Awareness Day randomly. And then this place just crept into my heart. It's a wild camp, so there's no electricity or running water. You have to bring everything you need along, but it's got a stunning fireplace and it's got a, a drop, what is it? A long drop and a bucket shower. So you heat up water in the fire and then you can take a shower. It is the most spectacular setting.
makes fire. Man got water from the iron van. So a fun thing here at Bloberg is you have to kind of make your own shower. Well, that idea I like because it makes you care a bit more about Africa's most precious resource. So let's get the shower going. There we go. I'm gonna wait for that. How did you sleep in your favorite camp in the world? Oh, I slept like a rock, like a dead ass rock. It was so good. Cheers, life is really good, really good. So this is not hot at all. The water is hot, but I'm gonna carry it with my hand. Specialist equipment. Yeah, boy. Shower incoming. Action. Ah, this is amazing. Oh. Oh wow. It is perfect. Oh my goodness. Also feel so much better because you've worked for this. Hard work pays off. Oh. Jose. Now time for soap. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let me also show you the long drop here. So it's just a small way from the camp. We've got a beautiful view into the bush here. And the door is Obviously, just to let someone outside know that it is occupied. I love this camp, it's so special. We're fresh, we had a lacquer shower, and we want to head out to Buffel Pun. So there's a hide, it's not too far from here, but apparently there's a lot of action in the middle of the day, which is strange for a hide, so I'm quite excited for that. But first, we just need to eat something. So we're gonna have some samis with leftover susatis and borscht from the Vivo Butchery. We had an amazing meal last night, and some fresh juice. Cheers. Oh, this is well like a meter is. Let's go. So we're just going to pop in at the vulture restaurant and see if there might be any vultures. But there is a giraffe and a couple of baboons. So you have to find the right time at the vulture restaurant because the vultures 
don't come down at any time. They come down when the temperatures are just right so they can take off again because they're not very good flyers. So often you'll find a lot of scavenger birds here like marabous um, and the vultures interacting. But today it's baboons and a giraffe, which is awesome. That's blubber. for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Kept me away from some incredible sightings in this height, some of the best I've been in. Um, it started out with some impalas and then giraffes came in, lots of giraffe. And it's so nice to see them actually come to drink water because they spread those legs. And then uh, it's almost like this is a baboon spa. The baboons are so relaxed here. We actually saw a few of them mating and drinking water and lots of birds. Who saw some blue waxbill, um, emerald spotted dove, and this is all in the middle of the day. It's incredible. When you come to Blauberg, you have to come sit here. Sit here for a few hours and just observe because you see some behavior that you don't normally see. It is incredible. One of the things that I've been looking forward to most about this camp is hanging my hammock in between two of my favorite trees. The big one, which is the white syringa, um, which is single-handedly my absolute favorite tree. And there's a terminalia on this side. 
and they are spaced just 100% perfect for a hammock. I have a question. No questions allowed. Why? That's a question. The question is from that tree to that tree blocks the walkway uh, for all the animals in Blowback. Where do you want to go? There's nothing on the other side of here. I want to go <laughs> to the car. You can go that side. Go go like black. Awesome. Bye, donkey. See. Check this view. So this one's proper name is Kirkia Akiminata, but its local name from the area is Modumela, and that is where the name for this campsite comes from, Modumele. Um, it is a deciduous tree, so in the summertime it has the most beautiful green leaves and lots of shade. And in winter, when you do want a little bit more sunshine, it drops all its leaves. But it is really beautiful. over here is called the lazy tree. Tell me a bit more about the lazy tree. The lazy tree is most active early mornings mm. <laughs> and least active in the late afternoons. Mm. It needs to drink regularly mm. and it makes really good fires. Mm. Soon. <laughs> And this one is called a rooiboswilg. I think it might be a red bush willow in English, but I'm directly translating. But the proper name is Combretum apiculatum. Good morning. So we got up this morning, collapsed camp, and we drove for about an hour around the southern western edge of the park because there is a little spot here where you can look up and actually see the mountain. And around this mountain is where you find the vultures. that there are breeding vultures. The thing to look out for on the cliffs is the white markings because that's the vulture poop and that's how you can tell where they stay in the rocks.
We're at the southern point of Blauwerg Nature Reserve and this is the viewpoint where you see the Cape vultures. Um, there are about 1,200 breeding pairs. It's quite something to see. If you come down to this side, bring some binoculars or a nice long lens to get some photographs of them. Speaking of that is Blauwerg is a birder's paradise. There's a lot of birds here. So if you are a birder, come through here. We've had such an amazing stay here and seeing the vultures flourishing here is the highlight of the trip, I would say. And then um, Blauberg is just such a special place. We saw many, many animals. We camped lovely and I love this place place to death. So if you, if you have a gap, come through to Blauberg. It's definitely a bucket list thing.